I eat 10 whole eggs per day, and when I say this, people think I'm crazy. They tell me I'm headed straight towards a heart attack. But these people, they couldn't be more wrong. So in today's video, I'll break down why eggs are one of the greatest foods on the planet and why you should be having a lot more of them. The main argument people use against eggs is that they are high in cholesterol, which allegedly will lead to heart disease and lead to heart attacks. But the high cholesterol in eggs is actually one of the main reasons why I do consume them. If you trace the origins of cholesterol becoming the bad guy, what you'll realize is that we were all lied to. It's all a bunch of fraud. In the 1960s, the rates of every chronic disease were skyrocketing. So big food, you know, the people that put the chemicals and refined oils in our foods, they got a bit nervous. They realized that the public was starting to look their way and point the finger towards them. But they couldn't allow this. They realized that if everyone started to blame them, their sales would plummet and therefore their profits would plummet. So they created a master plan. They decided to pay off many highly credible scientists to fabricate studies showing that cholesterol was the cause of all of these diseases. And the public believed it. They ate it up. The myth then became fact. Even to this day, despite all this new evidence coming out showing the opposite, people still believe this myth. The average person's opinion is that cholesterol is extremely bad for you and should be avoided at all cost. But what these people don't realize is that 80% of the cholesterol in our body is produced by the body itself. Why would it create so much of this stuff if it was actually harmful for us? To this day, there has not been a single credible study ever showing that cholesterol is a problem. In fact, cholesterol isn't simply just not bad, it's actually very good for you. Cholesterol is incredibly essential, we would die without it. In fact, our cell membranes, which is the thin, flexible layer that surrounds our cells, 50% of it is made from cholesterol. Our hormones, they're built from cholesterol. Cholesterol is literally the precursor. For all the men out there, if you don't have cholesterol in your body, you cannot produce testosterone. Everyone loves talking about how great vitamin D is and how sunlight is this incredible thing. But what they forget to mention is that vitamin D is made from cholesterol. But the craziest part about this entire cholesterol debacle is that low cholesterol is a lot worse for you than high cholesterol. In this 2019 study, which analyzed 12.8 million people regarding cholesterol levels and how likely you are to die, and get this, people with the lowest cholesterol died at the highest rates. Now, 200 cholesterol and above is considered high risk for cholesterol. If you talk to any big pharma rep, I mean, sorry, doctor, and you tell them you have a total cholesterol of over 200, they will try to put you on some drug. But this study, with 12.8 million people showed that this is the healthy range. Now I'm sure by looking at this chart, you're thinking to yourself, well actually, super high cholesterol is clearly not good for you. These people also had the highest rates of drinking, smoking, and obesity. So these people are getting their dietary cholesterol from things like burgers, meat lovers pizza. This right here is what is referred to in the world of science as healthy user bias. And that is the number one drawback with any study like this. But even despite these people drinking, smoking, being obese, eating refined carbohydrates, they still had a much lower chance of dying than the people who had very low cholesterol. So I eat a lot of eggs. I want as much cholesterol as I can possibly get. Okay, so eggs aren't bad, but what makes them good? The single greatest thing about eggs is that they are nature's multivitamin. In fact, eggs provide us with every single vitamin and mineral except vitamin C. You often hear all these people online talking about eating nose to tail. Eat the whole animal, the organs, the muscle meat, the whole thing. Well, that right there is essentially what an egg is. If these eggs that we eat were left to fertilize, they would become a whole animal. They would become a chicken. So when you eat an egg, you're eating everything that is required to build a whole animal and therefore you're eating nose to tail. Most notably, they're loaded with vitamin B12, vitamin D, and choline. Vitamin B12 supports energy production, red blood cell formation, and it's essential for mental health. Lack of vitamin B is one of the key reasons that vegans have all of these mental health issues. If you attend any woke protest event, what you'll find is a bunch of people with vitamin B12 deficiencies. Now, vitamin D is essential for bone health, immune function, and is required to absorb calcium. Now, with lack of calcium, your bones become weak, brittle, they're super prone to breaking. Choline, we need it for our brain development, nerve function, and for the production of neurotransmitters involved in memory, learning, and muscle control. In fact, this high-quality source of choline 
also makes you smarter. As found in this study, eating just a single egg a day showed significant improved levels of choline and DHA, two nutrients that are known to enhance cognitive function. In the last 12,000 years since humans started agriculture, the average brain size has shrunk 11%. I believe a key reason for this is that since we've switched to eating more plants, we've been consuming a lot smaller quantities of DHA. DHA is a carbon-22 fatty acid, and what's interesting is that 20% of our brains are made from carbon-20 and 22 fatty acids. Now the catch is, you can only get these types of fatty acids from animal products, which again, further explains why vegans are the way they are. In fact, there is a very long list of geniuses who absolutely love the old egg. So when you consume eggs with high levels of choline and DHA, what you'll find is your cognition seriously improves. But not only do you get smarter, you get more jacked and leaner without even trying. The protein in eggs is a very complete protein. When we look at what is known as the DIAS index, which is just a fancy index which calculates all the little amino acids and proteins and tells you how complete they are, what we find is that eggs are very high. All animal products, for that matter, are very high. The protein we get from plants, it's an incomplete protein. This is super important because without all the amino acids, which is what protein breaks down into, your body is unable to utilize this protein effectively. Now, not only is it a complete protein, but it's also very bioavailable. In plants, there are compounds known as anti-nutrients. How these compounds work is they bind to the protein, and so when our bodies try to digest it, they have a very hard time. But the protein in eggs, it's not this way. They have none of the anti-nutrients, there's nothing preventing it from being absorbed, and we absorb a very high percentage of it. Hence why it's considered very bioavailable. And it makes you leaner because it's very satiating. Foods high in protein and healthy fats are the most satiating foods on the planet. I'm sure you've experienced this. You go to your local supermarket, buy some chips or some Skittles, I don't know, what do people eat? But anyway, you eat this stuff, and even if you eat a massive amount of it, you either don't get full, or if you do get full, an hour later, you're hungry again. But if you had 10 eggs, you would be full for hours. You'd forget food even existed. And so as a result, when you consume a lot of eggs, your biceps get bigger, and your waist gets smaller. The more eggs you consume, the more co-workers you have coming up to you asking for your secret. They are quite literally a cheat code for life. All right, so, so far we have this magical food. It gives us all the nutrients we need. It makes us smarter. It makes us more jacked. It makes us leaner. But what makes eggs even greater than this is how incredible they taste. You can cook eggs many ways. It only takes a few minutes to cook. And regardless as to whether they are fried, scrambled, or hard boiled, they taste incredible. I eat 10 eggs per day. You probably don't need that many, but you should definitely eat more eggs.